back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Nicola. I'm a mum of two and I make videos about all things lifestyle. So hauls and vlogs, organisational videos, hints and tips and um, what I eat in a day and all that sort of stuff. So if you like those sorts of videos, then I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking the button just down here. It's completely free to do. I think all you need is a Gmail, Google account to do that and it would really help me out. I've set myself a target of a thousand subscribers for the end of the year and I'm about 170 away and I would love it if I could achieve that target. It's just a personal target for me and um, yeah, it would make my year really. I've worked quite hard trying to film these videos every week and I work full time as well. So uh, it's just a hobby for me and yeah, just a little target that I would love to achieve. So if you're not already, click the subscribe button and uh, keep the smile on this face. So, today I am filming a Christmassy video. Um, I know some people don't talk like talking about Christmas until December. I would happily make videos about Christmas all year round. I am Christmas obsessed a little. I just love it. I love everything about it. I love the build up. My favourite actually is the build up to Christmas and that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, and although I love Christmas Day and all the days after it, I do particularly enjoy the build up to Christmas and um, yeah, all the stuff that that entails. And it starts sort of about now, Halloween's out of the way, you're watching this on Tuesday, so it is bonfire night, well, if you're watching it when it goes up. Um, and then once that's done, Christmas is full on. Um, Phoebe's birthday, my daughter Phoebe, is going to be nine on the 23rd of November, so um, we still have that to do before Christmas can really begin, but even so, I love it and I do everything Christmas from now on. So I'm going to try and film two videos a week. One will be sort of Christmassy and one not so much. The closer we get to Christmas they'll probably both be Christmassy but certainly for now one Christmassy and one not so much and I'm going to upload on a Tuesday and I think on a Sunday morning or maybe a Saturday morning um, but I'll see. But anyway my Tuesday videos will still be happening on a Tuesday. So today I'm going to talk to you about an alternative advent calendar idea. I actually stole this idea from somebody um, who I watch on YouTube last year and then I looked on Pinterest and there are loads of ideas on Pinterest as well. I will link my Pinterest below and some of the um, accounts that I found that give you ideas to do this. But basically it's an alternative advent calendar and I did it last year for the first time and I left it a little bit late to start it. I don't think I actually started until the 3rd of December. I think we missed the first couple of days because I didn't see the video or the information about it until too late and then I hadn't organised it in time and it takes a bit of planning so which is why I'm doing this today because it gives you if you want to do it it gives you time to plan and prepare so as I said I love the build up to Christmas it really is the best time for me and for our family and we love doing Christmassy things and activities and I thought that by doing this advent calendar it would just make those things a little bit more special they could be some surprises and also I can implement some giving back into that advent calendar so the idea is is that you make activities throughout the month of December so for the 1st to the 24th you fill an advent calendar with activity ideas things to um, make Christmas a bit special, to make that excitement build up nicely um, and to give your children and your family together things that you can do together as a family. Um, so there are, starting from the beginning, I use um, for my advent calendar one of these. So this I got from Flying Tiger and I think it was like two pounds and it is a pack of 24 little brown envelopes, there is some um, candy cane type string and then a little sticker to go on each envelope for each of the days of the month. And then inside each envelope, I just did it on my computer, I printed it out, you could make it more pretty and decorate it, but I wrote on a little piece of paper um, an idea for an activity for us to do or for the children to do that day. And then they came down in the morning, opened their advent calendar and found out what the activity was for that day. And it just, it really turned things around actually for us last Christmas. It just made us feel super Christmassy. It made us feel like there was something to look forward to every single day, even if it was just a small thing. And you can make this as extravagant or as 
budget friendly as you like. It can be things that you would normally do. You don't have to fill it with wonderful trips away and things like that. You can just do little things. And I'm gonna give you some ideas of things that we've done in the past um, or last year when we did it and things that we'll be doing this year. And um, you can, as I say, you can use this, I'm gonna put it down because it's crinkly, but you can use one of these, which was two pounds. Um, you can use, I know in HomeSense at the moment, they've got some amazing wooden advent calendars with little drawers that you can pull out. If you want to get one of those, you can be a bit more extravagant and get that. We've also got a cloth advent calendar. It's like a Santa, um, a felt one with little pockets in. You could use one of those if you have one of those already. Um, you could make one yourself out of little bits of paper, you know, and put it in a, I don't know, in a bowl. I, I don't know, you could do, whatever but it can be as extravagant or as as cheap as you like it doesn't have to be expensive and then the activity ideas um i'm going to link below as i said before the pinterest pages where they give you loads and loads of activity ideas to choose from but we've done things like um simple things like decorate your bedroom so i bought a load of um, cheap decorations from poundland i bought a bag each for archie and phoebe and gave them to them and said right go and decorate your bedrooms and they loved doing that. They absolutely loved it. And we did a little competition who had the best um, decor in their bedrooms and they loved doing that. Um, and it didn't cost a huge amount of money. I just got a little, a little tree from pound. I think it was two pounds for the tree and some little baubles which were a pound and some tinsel and some stuff for that to hang from the ceiling. And you know, they can make, it's just their bedrooms. They can make it as tacky as they like because nobody sees it apart from them. So I'm happy for, to let them decorate to their heart's content. Um, we did, what other things did we do? We did ideas like go out for breakfast. We did that, I think, on the first day after they'd broken up for the holiday, so we went out for breakfast. We did a go out for dinner one night, which is something people possibly would have done anyway, but because it was put in the advent calendar, it was just made that little bit extra special. Oh, we're going out for dinner tonight, because they didn't know that that was happening. Um, so, and other things like um, write a Christmas card or make a Christmas card. We did make Christmas decorations. So I'd got some um, kits, I think I, like from Aldi or Poundland or something where you could make a Christmas decoration. So they did those. They had a mini Christmas coloring competition. And bearing in mind, my children are, are big separated. In, big separated? That's not even English. We have a quite a big age gap between my two children. So Phoebe is well, well, she will be nine and Archie is 15, but he still enjoys doing these things with her. And the fact that they can do them together is just fun. And I think there's a limited time at which, to which he will continue to enjoy doing these things with his sister. But I think this year, certainly he's happy to do them as well. Um, things like going to the pantomime, which we would normally do, we just put it in there and it's a, it's a nice treat for the day. And because like normally they would know that we'd booked to go to the pantomime. So for this year, the thing, I haven't, we aren't actually going to a pantomime, we're doing something else, but I have kept it a surprise. They don't know what we're doing. And so on the day they'll open it and they'll know that we're going to do that thing. I can't say it because both my kids watch my videos. So I'm going to keep that quiet. Um, there's another surprise that I've got for Phoebe and I to do. So um, Andrew and Archie will do something separate on that day. Um, there, what else did we do? So we also tried to implement some ideas whereby they can give back a little bit. So I think last year we went up to our local Tesco and they filled a basket with items from the food bank. So we went to the food bank first and looked at the list of things that they said they needed. And then we went into um, Tesco and we filled a basket with all of those things and then they took it and donated it to the food bank. Uh, we also did um, I asked them to go through their rooms and find a fill a bag each full of toys or clothes or things that they didn't need that we could take to charity. Um, you could also do like fill a shoe box for a child in another country. I know that they sometimes do like um, the Christmas child shoe boxes, so you could perhaps do that. Um, there are lots of ways in which you could get the children to understand the true meaning of Christmas and give back a little bit. You know, write Christmas cards to their friends. It might, that might be something quite simple. Um, I gave them a little bit of money and asked them to go out and buy each other a Christmas present that they could wrap up. Um, Archie actually goes out and buys his presents anyway, but Phoebe hadn't done that up until now. So she was able to go out and buy something nice for her brother. Um, 
all sorts of different ideas. I know, um, I watched Katie Ellison's video, she did a similar thing last year. I think she does something every year with her children and she, they sleep under the tree one night, um, have a camp out under the tree, which I think is a nice idea. I'm not sure any of us would last long camping out under our tree. I think we'd probably be fed up after a couple of hours and want to go to bed, but it's a nice idea. Um, a movie night is obviously a great one. You know, get some hot chocolates and marshmallows and get a movie and everyone watch a Christmas movie. We did read a Christmas book, um, so they both read a Christmas book. I think we did that twice, so they went one, Archie read one to Phoebe and then Phoebe read one to Archie another day. Um, so watch a Christmas movie. We went out one night and drove around the houses near where we lived to look at the Christmas lights and that was really lovely. Um, and obviously go and visit Santa is, is a good one to put in there. We actually missed out the last two years I've missed out on Santa, I've left it too late and uh, we haven't managed to visit so I need to make sure I book that early this year and that's why I'm doing this video now because there's certain things that you need to think about early. There are things that I've missed out on already that I've, because I've only just started thinking about what we're going to do and I'd seen that and in a couple of places around the country they do like a Polar Express and you can go on the train and they bring out hot chocolates and do the song and, and, and I thought, oh wow, that'd be amazing and I had a look and everything is completely sold out. So there are things that, you know, if you do this this year, you might have to do less and then think about it further in advance if you do it again next year. Um, but there are lots of, of things that you could do to just make it a more exciting time and a fun family occasion, just that build up to Christmas. Um, and I mean, our, ch our children break up quite late, which is a shame, I think, because the during the weekdays and the run up to Christmas, you've got to think of things that you can legitimately do quite easily on a school night so my children are quite busy after school in the evenings as well so it's trying to think of things that they can do during that time that don't take up a lot of time so things like making a decoration or coloring or reading a Christmas book or watching a Christmas movie those things we can do during the week in the school time and then the bigger events we can do at the weekends another good thing is if you are a National Trust well you don't have to be a National Trust member but I would thoroughly recommend it if you're not um, we actually joined because I was doing this last year and we wanted to go to I think it's Wadsland Manor which is near where we live and they have a, a Christmas light show and a Christmas market and we really wanted to do that so we actually joined because it was cheaper for us to join on a family membership which I think is like £12 a month, £10 a month, something like that, it's really cheap and we could then go for free to see the market and see the lights and everything and we've done loads of others since so it, we've easily got our money's worth and those sorts of things are great because national all national trust properties have brilliant things over christmas lots of you know local um attractions will do things over the christmas period so now's a great time to look and see what's available and what you can book um if you want to do you know some fun family days out you might just want to put one of those in if you don't want to spend loads and loads of money because they can be really expensive and these things can mount up but there are so many things you can do that are free um, that you can do at home and just do as a family. Making gingerbread is another one that we love to do and um, decorating our gingerbread men as well. And I'm actually going to think, I think make a video about the gingerbread that we make with the recipe and everything because I make, I found the recipe for the Disney gingerbread and it's so nice. So I'm gonna do a video about that in the next few weeks. Um, making a Christmas cake, um, all sorts. There's so many things that you can do. So I thoroughly recommend if you want to get involved doing something like this, you know, go go to your local Flying Tiger. They have, I bought this one last year just in case they didn't have them this year, but they do, they have them. And actually I've got the one I used last year anyway, it's still intact. We hang this in our playroom and the children can go in and just take, they take it in turns. So people will do the first one and the second one and so on. And actually the first one, we do get them advent calendars as well. Not always the expensive one, sometimes just a cheap dairy milk one, but on like the first day they will, probably the first thing will be a little treasure hunt to find their advent calendars for the Christmas period. So, um, you know, all of those things can go in as well. So they're just things that maybe you would normally do, but it just makes it a bit more exciting by putting it in here, a little piece of paper that they can open up and, uh, and do that together. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you do anything similar or if you've got any ideas that you think would be really good to put inside an activity advent calendar, especially ones where the children are giving back, like the food bank idea. I love that idea and the ways in which they can do things for other people, not just receive things themselves. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I look forward to seeing you. to the ocean yeah let's go outside we can hang out on the beach without freedom